Hello, Fangrafer here, getting back to more the Minish Cap. So, last time we helped Rem, the shoemaker, to create the Pegasus boots. And we also learned the dash attack, which we're now using. And with our newfound uh, boots, we can finally make a return here to Caster Wild. So, those of you who have never played this before, you might be thinking, big deal, what do you need boots for? This is why. As you can see, we can barely make it there. But if we run... And yeah, there is no way for you to roll, because it cancels the rolls. So, Castle Wilds! Um, this place sucks, if I should be completely honest. No matter how many times I've played, this is one of those areas that I might get lost in. But last time I played through this area, it wasn't that bad. Now that's one nasty looking statue that I have such an evil glower to it. Yeah, there's nothing we can do with this statue right now. So, if we deal with you, this guy sells us arrows if we can get our hands on a bow. Interesting, that. Now, what kind of suck? Now, what kind of sucks is that currently it's almost 8:15 p.m. here. Uh, I remembered just a few moments ago that oh, hey, I need to record. <laughs> And I figured, you know, I might as well record to get my mind up things right now, because... I am a little bit down in the dumps tonight. Um, nothing we can do here. Uh, the reason for that is... I was promised a package by... I don't recall if it was the mail... Or if it was the store where I ordered it from, but either way, I was promised a package with Splatoon and a Wii U Pro Controller. It was supposed to be here today, and it haven't it haven't arrived yet. It go figure. Um, the reese and what kind of sucks is that. Now in Sweden, uh, when we started, we just had like the mail or the mailman. Nowadays, we have something called the uh, Post Nord. They suck, to put it gently. They're the worst thing that has ever happened here. They're late with deliveries. Most of the time, when you get something, the whole thing that you get is just completely busted. Like, the only time they did something good was when they delivered to, like, stores like GameStop or whatnot. But when they deliver to private people, they suck. Either way, we have to go in here. Hmm, so a guardian is breaking the treasure. Take care while fighting it. This is a Dark Nut. Similar to... Uh, their appearance in the original Zelda, you can only hurt them from the side or from behind. So... You need to try to hit his shield so you stun him long enough for you to run up behind him or to the side of him and slash him. And killing him gives us... our first Golden Kinstone piece. There's a grand total of three of these. And yeah, they're extremely necessary. And, and yeah, back to uh, what I was talking about. Um, uh, when we called the store that uh, we ordered the um, 
package from. You know, we asked them like, oh, is there some way for us to actually, you know, track the package so we know where it is and whatnot, and sadly, they said that there is no way for them to, for us to track something coming from them. And the reason that's pretty sad is that many other stores uh, where you order something from them and it's delivered by well them uh, post norb oh, post norb yeah sure <laughs> post nord um, the deal then is pretty much that uh, you can track the package uh, uh, by looking up the uh, I think the yeah, the order number or the package number on their website, and you can see. Um, yeah, it's the package num number, and you can see where it is, like if it's being sorted somewhere, or if it's on the way, you know, stuff like that. Um, no such thing for um, the store where we ordered the things from, so. Yeah, we have blue ladybugs here. <laughs> but yeah, they said that it would arrive today. And if it didn't, uh, the latest date that it should arrive would be uh, tomorrow. And I told us pretty much that, okay, if it doesn't arrive tomorrow, then we should pretty much call PostNor as well as them to see what the heck is going on. But by killing those, we get the bow. And I fall down again. <laughs> but yeah, the bow is a standard Zelda item. But yeah, that is how things are going for me. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit saddened because I was pretty much expecting to have uh, my copy of Splatoon and that controller here today. Uh, so I would have something to play and probably be able to play like Minecraft or whatnot with my nephew. But that isn't the case, so hopefully it arrives tomorrow, else... I swear, I'm gonna call and complain like, and ask them like, okay, what the heck are you doing? Can you pull your thumbs out of your ass and actually do something? But yeah, we have to shoot these Omro statues in the eye with our bow. And yeah, they can come for you if you're not careful. There we go, five arrows with the sword in the quiver. I could use more things than green kinstone pieces, thank you. Like hearts. Not gonna be the case. That sucks. So, let's spin attack, finally getting a heart, so we can use this tornado. And we can make our way over the water here, over to this area. And if we had a way to shrink, and a way to get past these that would have been easier. But we have a grave here. Giving us a piece of heart. Completing the new heart container with that. Lovely. Though my body may perish, I'm still the true swordmaster of Hyrule. Swift blade the first. Spirit of the swordsman. If you train with me, I'll teach you the skills that are out of this world. Hmm? It seems you're not re ready to train with me. Ready to train with me. Come back when you have all seven tiger scrolls. So, when we have seven of these, we should come back here to Castle Wilds and train with the um, Swift Blade the first, or Swift Blade the first. So, if we head over here, this will make it easier once we have to return. Trust me, we're gonna have a use for these markings 
in a very, very near future. We're actually gonna know what they do this week. So... Shit. Oh, nice miss. There we go. Climbing up. Going over. This way. And let's fly. And land. Cut away through here. Open up this path. Grab our second kinstone piece. Of the golden variety. Now, let's see here. I think I recall where that final one is located. Uh, located, so... I think we're gonna go and pick that up, and then end things off. So, let's see here. Yeah, it's this way. Because we need to go past this dude. So, let's waken up with an arrow in the eye. Yeah, this dude should be lucky that I didn't live in Skyrim. He'll be woken up with an arrow to me, if that was the case. Uh, speaking of Skyrim, actually, uh, I'm so thankful for everyone who watched that um, uh, test video as, uh, and update video and commented on it. Uh, the majority of people who watched it uh, said that they didn't notice any... Um, yeah, there it is, by the way. Uh, and they didn't notice any lag whatsoever. So... I can pretty much openly promise that uh, I'm gonna be able to let's play uh, uh, 360 games like Skyrim and whatnot uh, without having to uh, post commentate. Because uh, many people also said that uh, the quality of the video was good, so um, like they didn't even notice that I used a different way to record, so. That actually feels really, really well. So... I hope people are looking forward to that. And I know from experience that Skyrim is gonna be a beast to tackle. It's gonna be a long let's play and it's gonna be a long... for a long game. And those of you who don't know, I have indeed uh, completed Skyrim, at least with the um, DLC that I have, which is Dawnguard and... Um, let's see here, it's Dawnguard... Yeah, it's Dawnguard and Dragonborn that I have, so... Yeah, we're gonna be able to um, uh, go through them as well. But there we go, we have our three uh, Golden Kinstone pieces. Now, if we head down here, we have these three statues that we can fuse with. And we have this boulder blocking the path. I guess we'll solve this next time, folks, because we, believe it or not, have the keys. See you all then.